So if you're making machines, whatever it is, your wind turbine, your water wheel, whatever it is, then one component that is indispensable is the gear. And the reason gears are so indispensable is because they do so many things. I mean, they split power, they combine power, they change the direction of power, they can change the speed and they can change the torque. It's incredible what you can do. So much so that you absolutely have to get to grips with them. Now, in a sort of average home workshop, I would imagine that without gear cutting gear cutting gears, try saying that after a drink, is a challenge. But of course, gears are under constant investigation, mostly because of how important they are. And there have been several developments that have been very interesting indeed. So what I thought I would do is take two of those developments and look at how we might make them without gear cutting gear. One of them, I don't think I've seen anywhere else before, so it might be my invention. I'm not sure, but it might be. If it is, awesome. Everybody's welcome to it. If it isn't, Ah well, I came to this same decision at the end of the day without knowing about it. But, let's have a look at the first one. The first one is this, it's a cyclo drive. Now, it came out of robotics because what it does is, in a very compact design, give an impressive gear reduction. And for things like arm movement and leg movement, that's exactly what you want. And it's four essential parts. There's this part, which is um, the output ring. Then there are these daisy wheels here which convert one into the other and in this one there's two of them but one is actually sufficient and then there's this ring which actually gets held still and then it looks like that with the pegs on it and the fourth component is a can that goes through the center the can rotates just as a wobble around here that gets transferred to that and you get a huge gear reduction in a small package so what i thought i'd do with this is turn this into a laser cut the reason a laser cut is because if you can cut it on a laser, then you can do it on many materials using many different tools. For example, on wood with hand saws if you really want to. A laser is just a way of doing it quickly. So, let's have a look at the Tinkercad drawing. So the cream is the wobble plate. The green one has got some holes in for some pegs and that gets held still. The yellow one is the output gear and that also needs some pegs. The orange are actually just spaces that we're going to need to space everything out. The sort of pinkish purple one, that's the can, and the blue one is the input gear. Although, of course, you could replace that blue one with a handle or a pulley if you wanted. Equally, you could change the yellow one to a pulley if you wanted. Now, this is rather small. It's about 50 millimetres across because I want it for something else. But let's get that cut out. There's our collection of parts, and we'll also need this, which is a bit of 4mm acrylic rod, and this, a 4mm bolt. Now, to glue all of this together, we're going to use this stuff, which is Tensol 12. It's singularly the best glue for acrylic ever. And to start this, take this gear with the six holes in, stick the bolt through that, and then take what looks like a spacer and pop it on there so that we're centering this little thing above the hole and the spot of glue in there to hold everything together and continue doing the other five. Like that. Then when you've done that bit, take this bit here and cut 12 one centimeter lengths of five millimeter bar and glue them in each of those holes. Then take a bit of your four millimeter rod and 15 millimeters down, glue on, this bit, which is an eccentric cam, you'll see that the hole in the center is slightly off center. Then when the cam has had a chance to dry, take that piece, feed that through there so the cam is in the same bit as all these projections up. And then on the reverse, first put that spacer, and then take that cog and glue it onto the spacer and onto the axle so it's like that. So when that's done, we should be able to turn that gear and the cam will turn. So take that piece and drop it over the cam and in the pegs. So when we turn that, cam turns and this rotates around the peg. Then we take this gear with those pegs and slot it in there and onto the axle. Finally, that piece goes on there and it just glues onto the axle. Don't glue it onto the gear. So what we've created is a very compact speed reducer. We turn this one like crazy and this output cog turns very slowly indeed, and you can see that working there. 
And that very little compact mechanism will give about a 10 to 1 gear ratio. And to give you some idea, a 10 tooth gear would be about that size and a 100 tooth gear would be about that size to give you the same ratio and you can get it in a little package like that. Now I have a, a cunning plan that I want this for so I'm going to use that in something that I'm building but I'd go through it first all by itself because although, again, I, I feel like I'm belabouring this point, although I've cut this on a laser cutter from acrylic, I it's identical to cutting on a fret saw from wood. You can do this in many different ways. Of course, I'll put the STL files available and, and they're meant to be exported as an SVG to do the laser cutter, or if you want to export them as a, a PNG or a bitmap and paste them on wood, go for it. If you want to 3D print them, export them as an STL. Now, if you want to 3D print them, these pegs have been done separately so they can be made in a huge variety of ways. All you have to do is merge the pegs into the ring and 3D print and you'll get actually exactly what we've got there. So this is from OT Vinta. So if you want to jump across to their website and pick that up, you can do that as well. But there we go. A very cool gear system that actually doesn't really require gear cutting tools in order to cut it. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next mechanism will be in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.